I feel the greatest success that we had in the pilot this year was the conversations that came out of the conferencing and just the different look that we had at the evaluation process. For so long it has been, what's the teacher doing in the classroom and almost checking things off a list. Now it's much more about conversation and watching what the students are doing, what the students are learning, and then that great conversation that comes up afterwards between the administrator and the teacher has been what I feel has been the most powerful piece of this uh, pilot. I'd say that our greatest success this year is being in classrooms more often and being able to conference with the teachers and it's more of a feedback and coaching model. Uh, also the teachers taking ownership for, for their own goals. I think our greatest success in Newcastle County Vote Tech was the conversations that I had with our DTGSS leads. That may seem odd because I think with the pilot you're looking to make sure um, that it's running smooth, that the actual form is achieving what it's intended, but we had very rich conversations around evaluations, around coaching teachers. And I think that's a byproduct of what we want this evaluation tool to do. That yes, it's an evaluation um, tool within a system, but ultimately what are the conversations being had among administrators, among administrators to teachers on instruction? And then at the end of the day, is instruction improving in the classroom and our students learning and growing? And that's, that's what it's all about. If I had to think about my greatest success this year with the pilot, I think it is the relationships that uh, we have been able to build with the teachers in our building. Uh, we decided at the beginning of the year that the grade levels we were going to observe were going to be the grade levels that we attended PLCs, um, we attended all of their special ed meetings, so we really had a laser focus on those grade levels. So with this pilot and getting into the classrooms for more frequent observations, it really helped us build really good relationships with the teachers and understand what their professional goals were for the year. So when I think about the um, Delaware teacher growth and support system, I think as a district, one of our greatest successes was the ability to really hit the ground running early on with our administrators. So last summer we had the good fortune of training with our administrators, so we calibrated together and we really were able to take a deep dive and look at the rubric and really look at the elements of effective instruction. So not only did we examine those elements, but we also were able to look at video clips together and really kind of analyze lesson effectiveness. So we watched the video clips and then afterwards we had the opportunity to really calibrate together. So we used the claim evidence impact question process, which is part of the pilot. And so when you look at the claim, you're really looking at the teacher moves. What are those teacher behaviors that are happening in the classroom? When you look at evidence, you're really kind of examining what are the students learning and doing in that space based on the teacher moves. And then the impact is all around how did that benefit students? So what were they able to do as a result of the teacher moves? And then the question piece is really that reflective piece for the teacher. So based on this observation, what are some of your reflections based on the evidence that we collected? And what do you see as some of your next steps moving forward in this process of delivering highly effective tier one instruction? So I think, um, the, the benefit too as a district was that we spent time with administrators early on, we calibrated together, and then we also aligned our efforts. And so a big piece was this alignment idea around tier one instruction. So coming back from the pandemic, we knew students had some interrupted learning. We wanted to focus on standards-based, high quality instruction every single day. And so we made that our focal point. We aligned that with DTGSS so that there was a, a very clear focus. And then we even aligned our principal and AP leadership goals with their um, P cells, which are their leadership standards, to really center on conducting classroom visits and providing high quality feedback for teachers. And then during our monthly leadership development meetings, we were able to really take a deep dive with administrators, examine components in the rubric, 
really build capacity of our leadership team with district um, office and our school leaders and then they were able to take some of that information through professional development and turnkey it with their staff to build their capacity with this process.